Hello, it's me and Jeff again. It's been a while since I have recorded the same thing with Jeff. Uh, I've been messing around with my other character, or with my main character a lot. But a lot of things have happened since the last time Jeff and I went on an adventure. And we're actually looking directly at one of them. This is the Legendary Exchange Machine. Here, you can take legendary items that you don't want and exchange them for Scrip, which is a currency that you can use to trade in at a certain vendor that is located way over in the mire. You may recall that we woke up there once after having tripped on Nukashine. We're not going to worry about going there just yet, but I actually think that we have... I think we have a couple things that we're probably not going to use much anymore. Yeah. And we're not going to use that either. Nope, not that. Uh, that's cool, but we're not going to get there for a while. Level 45 is way off. Nope. So this is really just a nice way to take things that you're not going to use when you get a terrible legendary and eventually get the chance to trade it in for a better one. Because what you can do is you can take this script to that special merchant and then purchase a random legendary. You might still get a terrible roll, but, you know, it'll be better than whatever clunker you turned in. This is one of many features that people have been understandably quite excited for uh, due to a lot of bad legendary weapons that people had accumulated. And nothing there really for us. <sighs> so there's that. There is also... There's these icons. You can now sell stuff at your camp. You don't have to meet people in person if you don't want to. You can set up a little vending machine and people can buy from it just as easily as I could buy from the vendor here at Grafton Station. Yes, 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 I know I picked up a bunch of legendaries out of my stash. You don't need to tell me about them again. A lot of things are still, you know, uh, there, there are still quirks and janky bits of game like there were before. Ew, cave crickets, I hate those. <sighs> but a lot of really cool stuff has happened. And this is the Atomic Shop. I'm actually going to buy this. Jeff needs a nice coat of paint on his excavator armor. We're going to get this. Now when he puts on his power armor, he'll basically be a fire truck. Okay, come on. Yeah, I know. I know I picked that up. Also, you're very loud. Anyway. And then, like we had the uh, house party for the Nuka Shine quest line, and we, I think we looked at the Sheep Squatch Ate My Brother poster? Let's see, do we have that quest? No, we don't! For more information, come to Van Lowe, Taxidermy, and Lewisburg. Man, it's been a while since I have messed around with Jeff. Huh. Alright. But then there's this, and this is what I'm writ I'm not interested in that exterminator's robot right arm. I'm interested in the Pioneer Scouts recruiting poster. Come and join the Order of the Tadpole. We're going to do that. We are going to go to Camp Lewis, which is over here, and we don't have a fast travel point for there. Shit. All right, well, I guess we're going to start by trekking across the Toxic Valley. We're going to have to start by what... Game's a little slow on the uptake today. You know, let's just trigger as many things as we can at once. I believe at the end of the previous video, we had leveled up, either from crafting or something, and I didn't actually level up. So we're going to put a point into Charisma. It's our second to last point in Charisma. Finally. <laughs> um, none of these are really that great, unless Jeff's on a team. So, nuts to that. Anything new in luck? Nothing really new in luck. Do we have stuff we wanted to get out of here? Ooh, lucky break. 
I think we want to level up Lucky Break. Oh, so yeah, put the point in Charisma. And then instead... Let's get Lucky Break. You might hear thunder outside. Hopefully not. I don't think my mic is quite that sensitive. There we go. Now, there's a pretty good chance that both our armor will repair itself and our weapon will repair itself. Whenever they are... Well, let's do this. I'm an armed citizen. Oh, you're here. Hello. Look, look at your death. So you're saying? Your board's not as nice as my board. All right, so we need to find the spot where there's a protest happening. Grenade! You just grenaded your friend's body. That's really rude. And the compass is telling me it's this way. Okay, we're gonna fight you first, I guess. Ow. Swing and a miss, okay. Ow. Ow. Excuse me. Oh, uh, I found the protesters. I guess this is good. Threw another grenade. Dang it! I'm on fire. We're on fire right now. Enough with the fire! Well, this escalated really quickly. Ow. Okay. Ow. Damn it. Everybody run in circles. You know, you should be fighting that super mutant, not me. We have more in common than you do with the super mutant. Okay, cool. More fire. Do you just have infinite Molotov cocktails? Because this is... that's terrible. I really am not on board with that. You blocked! Oh my god. You threw that at your feet? Yeah, why do you think you're wounded? You're throwing Molotovs at yourself. Oh boy. I don't really know where I am, what's happening. Okay, good, more. That's what we needed. We needed another super mutant and more fire. Oh my god. Would y'all die, please? I really should've, like, made sh- Ah, there we go. Oh, that hurt! Let's stim back again. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> and robots. Okay. Ow. Great. You know what you're not doing is helping. Protesters, you jerks! Jesus, we just spent, like, three episodes going through all the assorted mining company headquarters. And now these scorched assholes. By the way, have you heard of my new band, The Scorched Assholes? It's frickin'... Go away.
Oh god. Okay. Okay. Hey, we did it. Whew. what I thought. Okay, what was that? Oh, it's a rad toad. Man, oh, if I rad toad, what's this? Just a protest sign from that guy we killed. Ah, uh, you too? Ha, you missed. Yeah. No, I don't want to fight you. I don't want to fight you. Also, can we make sure that we have some grenades equipped? Ew, it makes gross noises too. Let's turn off the lying low quest line right now. We're not going to do that just yet. Oh, oh, you... You're a spicy frog. You know, I didn't want to fight you. I seem to have injured my leg. Attacking me for five seconds so I can talk. Uh, I did notice I had some raw meat in my inventory that I should probably cook up before it goes bad. And let's make some razor grain soup as well. Cool. Now, the Pioneer Scouts, who we are off to try to join, are one of the latest additions to the game. There are merit badges, there's all kinds of cool stuff you can do. And if there's one thing Jeff likes, it's probably merit badges, if we're being totally honest. So we need to head over to Camp Lewis and sign the hell up. And, you know, we just have to walk through a little bit of Toxic Valley to get there. There shouldn't be anything too bad out here. Normally it's just like a couple rad stags and... There's not usually much going on, because, you know, very, very toxic. Hmm. But yeah, it's probably been about a month since I recorded anything with Jeff. I, I, I kind of got absorbed into uh, messing around with, with my main character, who's more of a sniper. I hear something squeaking. Oh, there's squirrels over there. That's cute. Hmm. But yeah, uh, on my main character, I have a, sort of a, a project that I've been doing where I'm trying to gather data on the various quest rewards and things that you can get, where you can get them. Particularly because there's some things like certain plans and certain recipes where uh, no one really knows. Yeah. Oh god. Oh. Where to get them or how to find them? Just a brief dip in the toxic water. It's probably fine. I've also started running a monthly camp building competition, which has been fun. I say that, but it's only the second month that it's been going. So yeah, been doing a lot of things, but just kind of busy, haven't really, haven't been in the mood for recording. But, here I am, doing this. We are going to become Pioneer Scouts, regardless of how bad of an idea that might be.
can see like up here things aren't as bad as in the rest of the Toxic Valley because you know you get a little bit of altitude you get a bit more clearance from all that toxic mining runoff and dust and stuff I hear footsteps no this would be a bad place for a camp though a little high up but you know not in a bad way I like that we are up higher than the watchtower that's right there. But that's good. If we get that, we'll get some more map markers. Any traps or anything in this one? Used to seeing these guys be really trapped. It doesn't seem like it. Hmm. Oh. Got a little spooked when I saw the fluttering of that corpse over there. I'm striking out on the, uh, Rolls for extra stuff lately. Nice topological map. A dead raider. A dead raider with a note. You can find him across the lake on the roof of Grafton Steel at 2 p.m. tomorrow. Take out Mr. Henrik and your debt is paid. Okay. Alright, let's survey the area. What do we got? Pioneer Scout Camp, Colonel Kelly Monument, Grafton Dam. Yeah, we got a bunch of stuff. Uh, this is... Uh, the Grafton Dam is over there. It's holding back all of this lovely toxic sludge from spilling over into the nice peaceful forest region. So it's very important that it remains solid and that it doesn't get blown up like the dam outside of... Uh, inside of Charleston. But on the right side, this place is pretty much anathema to most of the surviving life in Appalachia, so... At least any of the life that would have a... T oh god, that guy scared me. A detailed enough plan to, like, try to blow up the... Anyway. This is Rattles Mayor. Mayor Bright, that is. <laughs> Our wonderful tourist industry has a problem that I'm hoping someone out there can help hmm? me fix. Barrels of toxic fish oh. are popping up in Barathon Lake. Horrendous. No one will want to swim there if they see those. We don't have the funds to really clean up the lake, so I need you to make sure nobody sees them. And I know just the place to dump them. That's what they get for failing to endorse me. Okay, well, we could do that. We could do that real quick. Uh, the mayor of Grafton wants us to pick up these barrels of toxic sludge. And then, we'll take them somewhere. I guess we'll find out. If we had five agility, we could sink them. But I don't think we can even... No. We would need something that buffs us by four. Not aware of anything that will buff our agility by four. Oh boy. The rads. Uh, yeah, there's a bunch of mire lurks around these barrels as well. I just gotta pick up the barrel and run. Oh! I keep forgetting I can't power attack when I run out of action points all the time. Go away. No, I don't want to do another event. No! Stop giving me things to do. I don't feel like it. Oh boy. And you can see over there, there's a bunch of Mirelurk hunters. We're gonna shoot them. Right, we do have a grenade on. Uh, these guys are nasty in part because they have a ranged attack. Blow up, blow up, blow up. 
That didn't blow up very much. Good start. Oh, you're nasty. This is gonna suck. This is gonna suck a bit. Oh yes, some sucking is being had, and now we're in the lovely toxic water. Oh, that was not Jeff's finest plan. All right, but we have employed misdirection, which the mistress of mystery would have approved of. Now we can go run over there and get that barrel while those idiots try to run around the rocks to find me. Of course, we're gonna have to swim. <laughs> okay. We got the barrel. I'm really used to having a perk called Aqua Boy. And with this perk, you don't take any radiation from swimming, and you can, I think, breathe underwater, and it's, it's great. It's a wonderful perk. But I don't think I can take it yet. Oh, maybe I could have. I bet I could have. I bet I could have taken it this level. If I just thought to look in the endurance perks. And let's. Uh, the good thing about that razor grain soup is that it boosts our resistance to disease. And this water is nasty. I hear super mutant. Uh, the Grafton Dam is currently controlled by Super Mutants. Oh man. Alright, we got the dam. We're gonna have to swim again. Hep! I should have taken a Radex. I definitely should have taken a Radex. That didn't work at all. Maybe that one will. That worked much better. Are you dead? You are dead. Alright, we got the barrel. Cool. So I can't sink the barrels because that's... Where does he want me to dump them? Clarksburg. Alright, we can do that. Oh, this is my main character, looking all sexy on a tractor. I think actually a tractor. Uh, this is at someone else's camp. That's their Brahmin pen. It's adorable and picturesque, up in the forest. Not like here, which is, you know, a place. All right. Anyway, we're back. I, I, shouldn't, I shouldn't knock Clarksburg. My main character now has his camp in this town, or kind of at the edge, because uh, the contest I'm doing is for kind of doing a fixer-upper type deal. And so I took one of the abandoned buildings outside of Clarksburg that you can technically place a camp in, and I placed a camp there. Shocking, I know. All right. I guess this is like the newspaper. Hello! Oh my. Okay, look. Oh. Lovely. Okay, we found, we found everybody. All of the ghouls are here. Okay. Oh boy. It's a party. I mean, it's always a party with Jeff, but... More so today. Because of all these freaking ghouls. Ow. Ow. Are we done? Are we done now? We're not done. I hear another. I don't know that it can find me, though. Go to right away. We're going to need that in a second. Okay. Huh. Okay. Nice. Oh, we 
to do was look in there and take something out of there and cool. Okay, all of that's nice, nice stuff. And a life-saving leather right arm. Or left arm. I can read. Our current left arm is a pocket-tempered raider left arm. Eh. We'll hang on to it, but I'm not very excited about it. Okay. Back to the Pioneer Scout camp. Oh yeah, another great new feature that has been added is that you can fast travel even if enemies are nearby now. I can think of a couple times when that would have been really useful to Jeff. Uh, you just have to get through this 15 second timer without taking damage. And we did. Hmm. Yikes. Okay, why did I already take damage? Did it, like, drop me or something? Hello, lighting glitch. No, we still don't want to do this event. We're not, we're not doing this event. All the... All the terrain's messed up here. Please, I don't want to hear this again. Oh my god. Good talk. You're dead. Oh, you missed real bad. Anybody else? Okay. Are we good now? I believe those are the noises we're supposed to investigate. Join the Pioneer Scouts today. All ages are now welcome. Hello, what have we here? Why, you have the look of a promising recruit, and that's just the kind of person I'm searching for. Due to membership numbers falling below acceptable standards, I have been authorized by, well, myself, to welcome you to the Pioneer Scouts. You have joined the ranks of the most patriotic and perpetually prepared young and recently not so young men and women of America. You are hereby assigned the rank of tadpole. Yeah. This is your official Pioneer Scout uniform. Keep it clean and wear it with pride. Now go forth, my little tadpole, and get to work on those badges. With diligence and determination, you'll be a possum in no time. <laughs> All right, good times. So, we spent the forest should end with a thorough self inspection to ensure that no ticks have invited themselves along for a ride. Yeah, about those ticks, they're big. Okay, so we've got our uniform now. Let's take a look. Oh, Jeff. Yes, this is the outfit that was made for Jeff, I think. The lighting is terrible here right now, but that's okay. Yeah. Yeah, odd, because I'm a Pioneer Scout now, yay! Yeah. He doesn't really know what to make of this. That's fine, though. So, we are now a tadpole. This is the lowest rank in the Pioneer Scouts, and we have a couple things we need to do if we want to uh, move up to the next rank, which is possum. You can see them in the top right. We have to demonstrate Pioneer Scout values. What? We've already done one of them. Hmm? Okay, so we have kindness, revive an ally, we have bravery, control pests that dolly sods, we have Earn Scout World Challenge Badges. But we already did one. How did we already do one? We cleaned up Kitty Corner Cabins. I don't remember that. I don't think we did that. Interesting. 
Anyway, so one of the things we need to do is go over to Dolly Sods, a campground and wilderness area over here, and talk to Pioneer Scout Leader Treadley. I'm not going to that island. Uh, we would have had to clean up some toxic mutagenic waste over at the Kitty Corner cabins, but apparently we already did that. So that's cool. We have to revive an ally, which can just be any player who is downed. Normally, in the Filthy Casuals group, we take care of this by somebody jumping off of a tall building and then someone running over and stimpacking them. There's also, later on, a challenge for one of the badges where you have to revive an ally in water. Where you have to be in water, the ally has to be in water. That one's trickier. Then you have to jump off of something tall and in sh tall, but then land in shallow water. So... Yeah. It's fun, though, because it's just a bunch of people hurling themselves off of tall buildings. The real meat of the challenges are the world challenges, which are way the hell down here, and they're very easy to miss. You see, these are the various tadpole badges that we can go after. We have Archer, Athlete, Codebreaker, Cook, Entomologist, Herpetologist, Hunter, Memologist, Medic, and Swimmer. Swimmer is the one that requires reviving another player while in the water. Meh. Uh, Codebreaker requires launching a nuke. That'll be a while. Fortunately, we only have to do three of these. Uh, and a bunch of these involve knowledge exams that we have to undertake over here. Ta-da! We're going to try and take one of those right now, actually. Let's see. Taking Pioneer Scout competency, ex competency exams. Let's look at our tadpole exams. And we're going to try the Archer one, because I think that'll be a fun one for Jeff to do. Let's see. Here's the exam. Lisa studies and practices archery regularly. She talks about archery all the time and is honestly kind of annoying about it. Lisa is an... It's this one. I don't know why I remember that it's a Toxophilite, but it's definitely not those other three. Uh, let's see, Gene practices shooting his crossbow every day after work to prepare himself for the looming red menace. Gene is an arborist, arbalist, crossman, or arcanist arbalist, because a type of very large crossbow that's a siege weapon is an arbalest. Knowledge. Jeff knows things. Commies have invaded Alex as a champion archer and wants to defend his country. What type of arrows should Alex use to penetrate the thick armor of the communist swine? Okay, that's cool. Let's go with Bodkin Point. I think that's right. Robbie is planning a bow hunting trip to Seneca Rocks with his dad, where they'll be hunting white-tailed deer. What type of arrowheads should they bring with them? Oh. Hmm. Broadhead? I guess? I don't know. Crafting a crossbow at a nearby weapons workbench, which component will you not need? Compressor, sight bridge, barrel, stock. Compressor? We know we need stock. Sight bridge is a thing. It's not a barrel. Yeah. Did we get it? No, we missed one. Alright. We could try it again. I'm gonna go through it a lot quicker this time. The questions might be different. Let's see. Archery tournament. Final shot. You land an arrow on the inner red ring. So close. How many points is this worth? Oh, that's rude. Let's go with... Uh... Oh, inner red ring. Uh... Six. Not optimistic. First big trip to the archery range. Have a handful of sharp arrows. Type of bag. Should you... Quiver. Don't carry them in your pockets, kids. Hiking through the woods. You spot your weird neighbor Jimmy blindly firing arrows into the sky. Hmm. <laughs> Um, yeah, find the nearest overhead cover. Robbie's planning a bow hunting trip. Oh, there's this again. I'm gonna go broadhead again and be wrong again. <sighs> Only one person is truly responsible for your safety and the safety of others on the range. It's you. We didn't get it. Alright. One more try. One more try. One more try, and then... Commies have invaded! Oh boy, this again. Uh, field point. I don't know. 
Really at the end of the range, what advice do you give? And anything above, don't do this. Don't shoot at apples on folks' heads. Don't do that. Quiver for arrows. Not pockets. Toxophilite. Yep. You are responsible for your own safety. I was right about the bodkin points at first. Alright, alright. Rather than keep doing this forever. Okay, cool, good talk. We are going to take one of these challenges, specifically the archer one, mark it. This means that it will pop up whenever we complete stuff relating to it. I'm gonna pass that archery exam, just not while I'm recording because it'll be boring to watch me try and do it a fourth time. It's probably already, already not great for me to do it three times, but that's fine. Also, that the fanfare from the trumpet is getting annoying. I happen to know that there is a shooting test that we can take up here. Because my main character is already a possum scout. Jeff has got some work to do. Right? I hear Meyer lurks. I at least hear Meyer lurk. Hello? Cool. Good talk. recipe or a plan for a water filter not terribly useful but okay a plan for a crossbow convenient very convenient let's see just does, does Jeff have the stuff to make a crossbow um Folks, it helps if you actually learn the plans that you pick up. Oh. Oh my. Oh. Well. Um. Hmm. Whoops. Um. Yep. <laughs> I forgot to learn some things. <laughs> uh, crossbow, what do we need? Gunsmith rank 2. Lame. We literally can't get that for a while. I don't suppose anybody just like left one lying around here. That'd be nice. Spare crossbow? Anybody? I think that's the first search thing that we've actually succeeded on today. Oh no, there was the dumpster at Clarksburg. Crossbow? Excuse me, sir. Lame. Alright, well. Let's take a look at the other badges real quick. And see what would be the best thing for Jeff to tackle. Because we got a lot of stuff to do. Uh... Uh, I mean, there are, what, nine different? No, more than that. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, ten, I was close. Let's see, there's an athlete thing. Oh, cool. <laughs> oh, have stats greater than or equal to five. No. Uh, Codebreaker is already off the table. Uh, we don't need to... Uh, we don't need to make a crossbow. We just need to find one somewhere. Cook. Cook food while wearing a chef's hat. I think Jeff has a chef's hat. However, many of these recipes are really difficult to make. Uh, the particularly bad one is Blackberry Honeycrisp. Entomologist. Oh, acquire a mothman wing. That's easy. Uh, herpetologist. A lot of this involves taking camera pictures, and the camera is another thing that's been added. And Jeff doesn't have one yet. He's gonna try to find one. We'll see. Uh, hunter. Kill a rat's check with a black powder weapon. We could do Hunter. Yeah, we could do Hunter. 
We would need a syringer. Oh my. Kill a Yagwai with a syringer. Some of these are a real pain in the ass. Uh, milk ramen successfully. And take camera pictures. Yes, cool. These are things. Medic. Stimpak diffusers haven't been added to the game yet, which is a problem. Swimmer. This requires reviving another player while in the water. We'll see. Maybe I'll do that at some point. And it requires camera pictures. We need to find a camera, basically. But we're going to do that in another video. We're done here. Uh, but Jeff is back in the saddle, and Jeff is now officially a Pioneer Scout. This is a much better, this is a much better view of the uniform and of Jeff. Yeah, Jeff is just kind of perpetually odd. There we go. <laughs> oh, Jeff. All right. So, till the next one of these. Bye.